so I'm testing yet another vlogging rig um, and we'll see how well that works and if that also works in conjunction with Google Maps so I'm going to try and turn the bike around head out to a place called Galant for a photo recce and a little bit of a run with the bike and see whether all this all these contraptions work okay so it's switching to the sat nav doing all this very carefully because it's uh, so well new I'm about to turn around I've done it so let's go to Galant, which is a little uh, kind of tiny place with a church and a pub uh, on the edge of the forest tree uh, near me and a potential photo location for photography, all sorts of village photo walk or church or seascape or sunset. We'll see what's there. Okay. All right. Try and concentrate and hope all this works. If it doesn't, Try again. Find the spot to put the bike, not in anybody's way, you always get the bike, the bike is both painted with the paint. Yes, this is the time of year to get your boats back into commission. So, what's wrong with parking? Nothing. So, I shall. Oh, and funny enough, I'm just opposite the pub. So this is Galant, uh, a little harbour and nowhere sort of place. You can see the tide is low here. 
on the edge of the Foy estuary and I'll do some more video in a minute there's this fisherman's arms just up there there's Kawasaki Vulcan just rode down today I'll perhaps try and give her some thoughts on it in a minute or two but let's walk around here and see what's what okay so here we are on a sunny March afternoon in a place called Galant, which is a small village on the edge of the Foy estuary, the Foy River. And we're just going to walk about and see what's here. We've already seen there's a pub, and now we're going to see what's over here. It's mostly boats and things, but you can imagine this as somewhere that could be really good for a sunset shoot, or just come and hang out at the pub. Uh, there's plenty of walking to be done in these areas, so I'm going to switch you around again, and we're going to look at some other. So there's the entrance into the marina section. It's completely tidal, there's no locks. So if it's low tide, as it is now, you've got to wait until the tide comes in. I think it just could be that the tide may be on the turn right now. And Castle Doll Rowing Club in front, so it's probably gig rowing, it's Cornwall, um, but it might be more formal eights and things like that. I don't know whether you can get on to cross, I think that might be the actual railway line or a railway line to the um, port of Foy where they export the, um, the China clay from, so I think that is the most likely use for that rather than, I don't think it's part of the main line. Lots of potential for photographs here. Lots of really good interesting looking boats, houses, things like that. So a definite village photo walk coming up. 12 photographs on one ancient German camera with no light meter, no water focusing, uh, no anything really apart from a shutter and a lens. And the car park, that public loose look as though they're closed. Oh, no, it says it's open. I'm not going to try that. Because uh, I don't need to go to there. And uh, private parking for park permit. Uh, not sure what this does. Quite interesting though, isn't it? That would make a good photograph. And uh, the mega expensive houses being built on the hillside which will only be affordable by wealthy out-of-county people, you know, Russian oligarchs and Londoners alike. Certainly not affordable for the likes of the average local. Uh, average local being somebody who works perhaps in the clay industries or maybe in tourism, uh, doesn't pay the wages to Gallant Holt, which is uh, interesting, is it? So, Implies you can get on and off here, but I suspect you can't. I suspect this is purely for the uh, clay industry. So, yeah, get a fantastic view over the estuary from here. Right, so there's the view over the estuary facing down that way. I suspect house prices are well beyond uh, the scope of most local residents, as are many around here. Um, so yes, that's um, part of Gallant. This is the far end. I don't think we can go any further. That house behind is private. Looks very nice. And um, so I'll progress to the other end and see what's there. I might just nip in the pub for a, a soft drink or something like that. That would be nice. Who doesn't love the Mazdaran X5? I certainly want one. I even like these. These are the sort of mid-model which people seem to like less, but I still think they're a fantastic look. Well, that's proof, if ever you needed it, that uh, the toilets are open. Cracking. Good. Over there we've got Paddle Cornwall, Paddleboard Hire, various boating related things. I don't think it's open at the moment. Probably east is when, when they'll be springing into action. And 
That is probably the most beautiful house I've seen yet, although they're all quite favourable, yes. Keep your dinghy here, do a bit of paddling out onto the Foyer River. Now that green and white boat over there, see if I can zoom in on it. That would make a good image in the right light. Sat there with the tide perhaps just around it maybe. These colourful boats, like little licorice all sorts or jelly beans, would also make good images too, especially these three in front. Um, or in black and white on a moody overcast day. And you, living at this level, you don't want to hear about uh, global climate change, rises in sea levels, because you're at sea level. There isn't going to be much room for wiggle here as uh, the sea rises, it floods. I suspect it does flood at times already. So coming back towards the bike, Nice Land Rover park there. I'm going to walk to the other end and then I'll come back and maybe get a drink. Nice Beamer on the right. Okay, 1200 ET. Yeah. What's that? Series 2, 3. Certainly on the Series 1. And there's my 69 plate Kawasaki. All parked up, gleaming in the sunshine. So, lovely little old dinghy there with the uh, uh, Coriloxus osteosperm, something like that, in, in front of it, a memorial to uh, to local people. Yeah, but it's a beautiful touch with the park just growing over it, the flowers bright yellow in the sunshine. So local recreation ground, little wagtail in the distance there. I'll be looking for food, what you can find. Uh, you do see them commonly in these sorts of locations. So, there he is up there again. Yeah, he didn't want to go away. This is his territory, or her territory. Yeah, little bird. A view from the recreation ground. So you've got some beautiful magnolias up on that hill. Again, you've got some rather swish, as my grandmother would say, modern houses. And some slightly older houses as well. Very pleasant. So we're coming up to what's the north end of the, uh, the village and the little harbour stroke marina area. Lots of boats. Mostly day boats, I think, perhaps the old fishing boat. Um, to your left, I can zoom in on it a little bit better, if it will allow me, is a plant that's very indicative of this part of the world, um, called scurvy grass, which is a member of the cabbage family, in actual fact, a brassica used by sea captains to help their uh, crewmen fight off the dreaded scourge of scurvy. So we're about at the top end of the village now, going north. The marina harbour area is gradually narrowing as we reach the top end, so not much need to go much further. You can see there's a little bench seat up there for those who are resting their weary legs. It may be that the Cornish coast path goes through here somewhere nearby, but uh, that's not what I'm here for today. There's another gentleman, by the sound of it, in, the, in their boat, trying to get on with things. Oh, probably rhododendron just over there. So yeah, spring is definitely here in Cornwall. Uh, and this place looks like everybody's trying to make best use of it. Plenty of photo opportunities here, uh, but on a different day. Bright sunshine isn't the greatest for uh, this sort of thing. Seascapes, all for the moored boats. You need a bit more nuanced light. Okay. So the next task is to uh, head up to the local pub, get a, a drink, a soft drink of course, refreshment, maybe a packet of crisps, sit down for a while and uh, 
crack on to my next destination, which is going to be St. Winnow.